In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create custom pattern and put it along the path. First, we're going to create custom pattern, then repeat it, then create the path around the corners and then put it on the path. So let's get into that. I'm going to create my pattern first. So I'm going to create four rectangles and recolor them. After that, I'm going to group them and create my spline. If I hold control, it's going to constrain it to 90 degrees. I'm going to change stroke and turn off the fill. And then I'm going to path effects and add rounded corners. I can select my nodes and start dragging and it will smooth out the chorus. Okay, now I'm going to rename this and I'm going to repeat it by using tiling. So I'm going to do path effects and add in tiling. First, I need just one row and then I'm going to switch to node tool and I'm going to add a little bit of offset. Now I'm going to add band effect and copy my original path and press this button to link it to it. Now I can modify this by adding more columns or rows. I can turn off the bending for now and show you how to randomize this pattern. So if I go back to tiling, I can switch gaps to be random and also these gaps to be random and also scaling. And Randomize between zero change and 50% less. I can also offset it by 50% and maybe even add more rows. I'm going to enable band again and you can see that it's working. I can still edit all of this. and play with the pattern with, by adding more columns and rows. And basically that's it. Bonus technique is that you can edit the pattern on a canvas if you don't use tiling. So let me turn off the tiling and also bend. So you can see my pattern is here and I'm going to stretch it so it overlaps. And if I enab enable bending back and select any objects inside, so if I double click and let me load this, if I double click and select the yellow one, I can change the size. or I can move it, so, but I need to hold control and go just to left or right. So if I move it to the left, you can see it's going to the end. And if I move it to the right and still hold control, it's going to the right. And I can do that with any of this. So I can make them smaller and move them. The part, it's important to hold control and move just from left to the right. And that's it. Have fun.